You've seen all the teasers, you've seen all the spy shots, but this is the Tatra Punch EV in the flesh. Done. Now the most obvious change is in the front where the Punch EV now looks very similar to the Nexon EV. It's got that same full width light signature. And like in the Nexon EV, you also know the charging status through here. With the same light arrangement and a slightly different grille too with vertical insert. Now this front facing charge port is a neat trick but it also means that this is the first Gen 2 EV from Tata Motors. So it's the Acti.EV architecture and that also means a few more things which we'll just get to. Now this new architecture also means that you now get a 14 liter frunk which is where you can also put your charging cables. Of course this pearl white shade you've also seen in the Nexon EV and that's here too in the Empowered Plus trim but also carried over is a very similar design for the 16 inch alloy wheels and these dot EV badges. Now this is what the cabin of the Tata Punch EV is like. So yeah again you can see it's inspired by what we've seen in the new Nexon EV so you have that white and very dark grey shade. The same 10.1 inch touch screen here and very similar functionalities. I'll just take you through them. You have of course wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You have those racing games Alexa integration that arcade.ev feature that we've seen there and more features those climate functions right here. Ambient lighting, which is where you can choose various moods, which is something new. And 360 degree cameras with all kinds of views. What three words integration as well as a air filter. Now coming to this screen, again it's got the new graphics and you have those various modes that you can choose, viewing modes. And then we've also seen this before, this two spoke Tata steering wheel with the disappearing logo. And coming here again, it's more familiar territory, you've got these capacitive touch panels for most of the functions that you might use. The charging port also opens from here as well as the climate control features. You have this rotary selector, a wireless charger, the drive mode switches, which also changes the mood lighting, which is something new. And these and this electronic parking brake function. Now, among other features, you also get ventilated seats. Now, coming to the back seat of the Punch EV, what you see is that the doors still open to 90 degrees. But an interesting feature, again, because of that Acti.EV architecture, the second gen EV architecture, it's a bit difficult to see here, is the, but now I guess you can see it, a completely flat floor. Now some other facts about the Tata Punch EV, you get two battery pack options. The standard range one is 25 kilowatt hour. That'll give you about 315 kilometers of range. And there's a long range version with 421 kilometers of range and a 35 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now among other features, so to speak, there is a 50 kilowatt charging capacity for both the versions. And battery density, because of this new Acti EV architecture, has gone up by 10%. As for prices, you can have the standard range for about 11 lakhs, starting from 11 lakhs. And the long range starts from about 13 lakhs. So what do you think about the Punch EV? Do you think that it's a good complement to, say, the Nexon EV? Especially for, say, if you don't have that much 
So what do you think about the Tata Punch EV? Do you think it complements the Tata Nexon EV? Let us know in the comments.